All right, here is question number seven from the 2016 exam, which hopefully a lot of people got to the end of the exam and was like, sweet, I like this, because it's a titration question. And of course we did this. Students given 25 mils of a an unknown monoprotic acid and, determined, and asked to determine the concentration of the acid by titration. So it's just got one hydrogen and we're using a standardized solution of 0 0.110 molar sodium hydroxide. So one hydroxide, one hydrogen should be an easy calculation. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Of course we have a burette, a flask, an indicator, and other laboratory equipment necessary for the titration. The images below show the burette before the titration begins on our left and at the end point on our right. What should the student record as the volume of sodium hydroxide delivered to the flask? So we got to look at these lovely magnified images. So our volume over here is somewhere between 5 and 6 milliliters, and each line represents a tenth. 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 6.7, 8.9. .9. All right. So when we look closely at our meniscus, we can see it's between 5.6 and 5.7 milliliters. So they're begging you to go to the hundredth. And so 5.65 looks like it's right in the middle to me, but anywhere between 5.6 and 5.7 is what they were asking us to do. When we come over here, 37 and 38, so 37.1, 37.2, it looks like the meniscus is right on 37.3 but remember we're looking to go to the hundredth so I'm sure they were looking for sig figs here and so now what should we record it would be the 37.30 minus 5.65 so 31.65 milliliters again I think they were begging to check your sig figs here so that is the volume of my 0.11 molar sodium hydroxide delivered to get to the end point, equivalence point, where the moles of acid equals moles of base. And I know that I had a 25 milliliter sample of the acid. So since I used 31 milliliters of base, that means to me that the acid is stronger than the base. Because I used 25 mils of acid, more base was needed. So that should be in your brain right now as well. So based on the given information, determine the value of the concentration of the acid. You can do stoichiometry, but again, a one-to-one -one ratio, monoprotic and sodium hydroxide, MVMV looks like it would be just great. So the molarity of my acid times the volume of my acid, molarity of base, volume of base. And here you see, again, could they have checked your sig figs here? For sure, and you do see that the acid molarity is greater than the base, which is what you should expect since you had to use more base to get to the equivalence slash end point. And now the last part here. In a second trial, the student accidentally adds more sodium hydroxide to the flask. So would this error increase, decrease, or have no effect on the calculated acid concentration for the second trial? and justify. So if you used too much base, then you would think that there were more moles of base, which means there would be more moles of acid, and you still have the same 25 mils of acid. So I'm pretty sure this would increase our calculation. More sodium hydroxide would mean more moles of base at the equivalence point, therefore more moles of acid, blah blah blah. If you weren't sure, you could have just gone to this calculation and instead of 31, plug in 35. And you would have got a larger molarity of your acid. And that could have, like, could have triggered, oh, okay, that's why. So if you weren't sure if it would increase, decrease, or have no effect, go up and recalculate and put in a fake higher number of base. And that could have helped you get through this question and rationalize why. All right, so again, a wonderful question to end that exam. Hopefully this helps, and I will see you soon.